In this exciting video, I am going to show you the new Wuxin KG1000G Plus Plus 50 watt mobile GMRS radio. And of course, the big The big question is that everybody wants to know is what is the difference between the new Wuxin Ocean KG1000G Plus and the old regular Wuxin Ocean KG1000G. Besides, of course, the name. The new one has a plus. The previous version of the KG1000G does not have the plus in the name. Now, most YouTubers would make you watch until the end of the video to answer that big question, but not me, because I am special. I will go over the differences between the KG1000G and the new KG1000G Plus in just a minute, but because, unlike all those other YouTubers, because I am special, I will tell you right here, right now, up front, that the differences between the KG1000G and the KG1000G Plus are not that huge. The changes are more evolutionary than they are revolutionary. These changes are just one more step forward in Wuxin Ocean's ongoing march to dominating the GMRS market. Basically, Wuxin Ocean listened to customer feedback that they got from the KG1000G, and they made the new KG1000G Plus more consistent with all their other radios that they sell, and they've made several other improvements to make the KG1000G Plus less confusing to use to make it a more enjoyable GMRS radio experience. The cost for the new Wuxin Ocean KG1000G Plus is $389. Affiliate link below. And allow me to point out that Buy2Aradios.com did send me this new Wuxin Ocean KG1000G Plus at no charge so that I could share it with my vast YouTube viewing audience. So when you purchase the new Wuxin Ocean KG1000G Plus in the box, you will find a warranty card. You will find an updated user manual very well written, 124 pages long, written in perfect English, and as I mentioned, slightly updated from the previous KG1000G user manual, making it easier to understand and more enjoyable to read. You will receive some face plates. These affix to the front of the Wuxin Ocean KG1000G Plus radio so that you can adjust the angle of the face plate and some tiny mounting screws. You will receive a mounting bracket to mount the KG1000G Plus in your vehicle. You will receive a baggie with some mounting screws, some extra fuses, and a microphone mounting clip. You will receive a very long faceplate extension cable. It's 18 or 20 feet long. Don't quote me on that. It is very long. And this is so that you can detach the faceplate from the KG1000G Plus. In the GMRS world, we call this a remote mount faceplate. And that is one of the best features of the KG1000G. And now the KG1000G Plus is being able to remotely mount the faceplate in one spot and have the radio in another spot. You will receive a microphone. The microphone has been updated slightly. The microphone has a volume control because it has a speaker inside the microphone, which makes it very useful if you're in a loud vehicle, like a Jeep, trying to drive down the freeway. It has a lock switch so that you can lock the microphone so that you don't accidentally press any buttons. The microphone is illuminated so that in the dark, all the buttons light up, and there is a switch to turn that light on or off. It has a push to talk button here. You use that button to push when you wish to talk through the radio. And it has a programmable function button that you can program to do 
different things. I'll talk more about that momentarily. And you will receive the new Wuxin Ocean KG1000G Plus 50 watt mobile GMRS radio. You will also receive a very long wire that connects to the other end of the pigtail that comes out of the radio. This one is 15 or 18 feet long, and that's what you connect to your power source. I'm not going to show you this entire wire because it's just a wire. The radio is approximately eight and a half inches long at its longest, five and a half inches wide at its widest, and just under two inches thick. On the back, you will find a standard SO239 antenna connector hole, a fan, which will spin to keep the radio cool. And under this dust cover, you will find external speaker jacks, two. And the reason you'll find two is because the Wuxin Ocean KG1000G Plus has two speakers. I will tell you more about why it has two speakers momentarily. As I mentioned, the radio comes with additional faceplate mounts so that you can remove this one, which is angled slightly upward, if you prefer to have the faceplate mounted more straightly, like this. The microphone plugs in here, and on this side, you have a jack for plugging in your computer programming cable. You will find two volume controls for the two speakers. We're gonna talk more about those two speakers momentarily. A sparse selection of buttons on the front and programmable buttons across the top as well as a power on and off button. And finally, you have a channel selector knob here. The KG1000G Plus is a 50 watt mobile GMRS radio, which means it is designed to be installed in your vehicle. However, should you choose, you can also use it as a base station by connecting it to a 12 volt DC power supply and an antenna on your roof. Just like the KG1000G, the KG1000G Plus has all of the standard GMRS channels, the repeater channels, it can do split tones. It has hundreds of channel memory slots that you can use to save and program multiple repeaters or scanning only frequencies. It has a huge range of scanning frequencies, which I forgot to write down, so I'll put them on the screen. As mentioned, this is a GMRS radio and to transmit on a GMRS radio are overlords at the FCC's say that you must have a GMRS license. You do not need a license to purchase this radio. You do not need a license to listen to this radio. But if you want to talk or transmit on this radio, the FCC's say thou must have a GMRS license. There is no test for a GMRS license. You purchase it, just like you buy a fishing license by sending monies to the government. If you do not have a GMRS license, I will put a link in the information section of this video to a page at my website that explains how to buy a GMRS license from the FCC so that you too can send money to the government so that you can use our free airwaves. Just like the KG-1000G, the KG-1000G Plus is a super heterodyne radio. This means that it is a higher quality receiver than those cheaper, lesser SOC or system on a chip type radios. So it is better at filtering out static and bleed over than those other cheaper, homodyne radios, and the receiver is more sensitive, meaning you can hear more things from more fars away. The KG-1000G Plus, just like the KG-1000G, can monitor and listen to two frequencies at the same time. As you can see, on this side, I am monitoring the delta repeater, and on this side, I'm monitoring GMRS channel two. That is the reason for the two speakers and the two volume control knobs. As you can see, each side has a separate volume control. But because listening to two different channels at the same time is too confusing for simple brains like mine, I have programmed one of the top programmable buttons to turn that feature off. So by simply pressing a button, I am now monitoring only one channel. You can program virtually everything in this radio directly from the keypad. However, it is much easier to do all the programming using the software, which you can download for free 
from the buy2wayradios.com website. The software is not the same software used with the KG-1000G. You have to use the new updated software specifically made for the KG-1000G+. Plus. And if you choose to program the radio from your computer, you will need a PC-003 programming cable. This is the kind with a little RJ-45 type connector, which plugs into the side of the radio. This cable costs about $15. Affiliate link below. The box for the KG-1000G Plus says that it is a 50 watt radio. So let's check that. So to test the power output of the Wuxin Ocean KG-1000G Plus to make sure that Wuxin Ocean is being honest with us, I will be using the Farzometer 2000 SWR and power meter. I will connect the Farzometer 2000 to the Wuxin Ocean KG-1000G Plus via this high quality, messy and poloni patch cable. I will put the radio on my favorite channel. GMRS channel 16, which is roughly in the middle of the band. I will confirm that the radio is on high power, which we can see it is by the small H indicator. I will then press the push to talk button on the KG-1000G plus microphone, which will send a blast of RF electricities through the high quality Messi and Poloni cable into the Farzometer 2000, which will tell us a few things. It will tell us the frequency that I'm transmitting right about there. It will show a large number here, which is the SWR, which because we're using a dummy load is not a valid SWR reading because it's not an actual antenna, it's a dummy load. The purpose of using the dummy load is to help suck all of the electricities out of the radio through the Farzometer 2000 to get a more accurate reading of the RF electricity's output than if we were just using an antenna. And this also prevents all the RF electricities from going out into the air and disturbing anybody nearby who may be hearing me pressing the button. The actual power output, the number that we care about will be right up here. So ignore everything else. That's the number that will matter. So ladies and gentlemen, I have everything connected. I will now press the push to talk button. Let's see how much power this is outputting on channel 16. And we are getting 47.25 watts. That is very close to the 50 watts as promised. Farzo meter 2000 is not the most accurate meter that you can buy. So for all we know, it could be outputting exactly 50 watts. Let's go to a higher frequency. So I'm now on repeater number 22, which is going to be the highest frequency. We are now on 467725. That's quite a bit higher. And the output is 42, 42.1 watts. Also very close to the 50 watts promised. But do not be alarmed at the 42 watt output because it is normal for a radio to not output the same power across the entire band. So it looks like Wuxin Ocean has tuned the radio for the simplex channels instead of the higher repeater channels. But 42 watts, still very close to the promised 50. And on simplex, it was pretty much as we would expect. As you may have noticed, the KG-1000G Plus has the exact same hardware as the KG-1000G, and all the parts and accessories and everything are interchangeable with the KG-1000G. On the outside, the KG-1000G Plus is exactly the same as the KG-1000, but just like Mama always told you, it's what's on the inside that matters. So allow me to go over some of the things that are different on the new Plus radio compared to the old non-Plus KG-1000G. First, Wuxin Ocean has removed some of the options out of the menus that don't apply to GMRS. If you have the previous KG-1000G, you may have noticed that there were menu options that didn't do anything or that were very confusing. And those options were left over from the original design of this radio, which was a ham radio. So because those menu options don't apply to the GMRS version, they have now finally removed those confusing options. 
The KG-1000G Plus has four programmable buttons instead of just three like on the older KG-1000G. And when programming those buttons, the new Plus version allows you to program each of these buttons to do more things than the previous KG-1000G. On the KG-1000G Plus, the squelch adjustments happen in real time. Now that may not sound like a big deal to you, but if you're ever trying to adjust your squelch properly, on the old KG-1000G, you had to set the squelch, save the setting, and then go listen to see if your setting made any difference. On the new KG-1000G+, as you make the change, it happens in real time, so you can listen while you dial in the correct squelch setting. This button on the microphone is now assignable to any programming function, just like these top buttons. You could not do that before on the older KG-1000G. The new Plus version has an icon, a weather icon, showing on the area button so that you don't forget that pressing that button will take you to the weather channels. And the screen now has this weather icon indicating that you are listening to the weather frequencies. And unlike the older KG-1000G, you can now access the weather channels, whether you are listening to the A side or the B side channel. What I mean by that is, if I have the dual monitoring on and I have the active channel set to this side, as indicated by the small arrow, on the old KG-1000G, I could not activate the weather frequencies if I was on this side. On the new KG-1000G+, I can activate weather from either side. On the older KG-1000G, not being able to activate the weather from the B side was a cause of much confoculation for many people. Another small but very nifty feature of the Plus is that when dual monitoring is disabled, you can customize the message that shows on the unused side of the screen. You cannot do that on the standard KG-1000G. The KG-1000G Plus also has better transmit audio quality, and they have made improvements to the automatic gain control. And thanks be to Xenu, the radio does have a Roger beep. And there are actually more changes in the new KG-1000G Plus, but because some people like to leave comments whining that my videos are too long, in the interest of time, I will not go through all of the changes, but if you want to see every single change, big and small, that Wuxin has made to this new KG-1000G Plus, I will put a link to a blog post at the buy2aradios.com website where they outline every single change and everything that is different between the KG-1000G and the new KG-1000G+. As previously mentioned, most of these changes are small, but when you add them all up, they do make for a better GMRS radio experience. So should you buy the new Wuxin Ocean KG-1000G+, or should you replace your existing KG-1000G with the new Plus version? If you already have a KG-1000G, then no. It is probably not worth upgrading and throwing away your old KG-1000G. Most of these changes are small, and while they do add up to a better GMRS experience, it's probably not worth it for most people to replace their existing KG-1000G. But if you are in the market for a new high-power mobile GMRS radio, and you're not sure if you should get the KG-1000G, with the KG-1000G+, the extra few dollars for the KG-1000G+, is definitely worth it.